What is going on? Welcome back to another episode of Down the Road. If you haven't heard, we just released a mixtape. It's called Cruise Control. So please ensure you watch that video. It is super nice over an hour of good, clean music. Download it, stream it on Audio Mac, stream it on SoundCloud, all of those nice things, right? I know we haven't been here for a little while, but we've been busy, you know, we're just busy, we're busy at the things. My kia stop, my kia stop for all of them. We ain't on the cool man, the people in my long time, they're not here for me. Yeah, but my fist, you know, my Instagram the ear from it is slam. Beatings, stabbings, and even car crashes. People behaving very badly in Los Angeles and across the country for that fact, trying to get their hands on Popeye's chicken sandwich. But I'm sure you're seeing this thing right here, and um, this has been the creed. We bought to try this sandwich, but we got a twist. We can't just try this. We have to compare it because we need to let them know if it's worth it. So I have this, I have the Popeye chicken sandwich, I have the Wendy's spicy fillet chicken sandwich, and of course, you gotta have, have a the zinger. OG, we have the zinger. Zing zing. Yeah. I don't have very high expectations for this Popeye sandwich. I think it's overhyped, but we'll see. I'm very hungry. We'll see. <laughs> Starting it out with the new Popeye's chicken sandwich. It is $650 for the sandwich only. If you want a combo, you're gonna pay about $750. So this sandwich weighs 26 grams. Basically, the anatomy is this brand new brioche bread, chicken breasts, and pickles. We gonna eat the pickle? We'll have a try it. It coming at the sandwich. Oh God, like this is so awful. <laughs> this is literally just cheese, chicken, bread and our pickles save your money and just make a sandwich at home yeah so here's the thing with this now from my understanding this is just chicken and bread and even a little lettuce it's the spicy version so, so let's see okay you see it's not bad even the pickles it's very subtle yeah the pickles are subtle you don't taste it that much so it not very pickly the bread nice Ooh. but i like it i can see myself buying this bread is absolutely lovely super is... soft and nice i don't know i don't like pickles but i think the pickles just add a little extra something to the sandwich that's true it works I'm not i would bad recommend i'd recommend it's good so the Wendy's sandwich, spicy chicken fillet, it's pretty nice, pretty clean. It is $620 for this sandwich only. Don't remember what the price of the combo is, but it weighs 22 grams. Out of the three sandwiches we're trying today, this weighs the least. Mm -hmm. The least. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, out of the sandwiches we're trying today, this weighs the least. It's the second most expensive one. The Popeye's one is the most expensive one. $650. And again, very basic. The content is... Yeah, it's just bread, lettuce, and tomato. Mayonnaise. Yeah, so mayo in mean. there. I think it's the, the meat itself that's supposed to be spicy. So, I let's see what's up. I think Wendy's is very overpriced. But that's just me. Let's get into it. Okay. It 
it's all right, you know? Mm. It's light, airy, ingredients are good. Maybe cheese would have helped. Honestly, I'm not impressed at all. Maybe I should have added cheese to this. Cheese would have definitely helped it. This chicken is very subpar to me. The lettuce doesn't taste great. I don't like this sandwich. I would not buy this sandwich again. Therefore, I cannot recommend it, but hey, he likes it. Maybe you will like it too. All right, so last but not least, we have the Zinger, the original OG Zinger, not barbecue. Oh. Everybody knows what is in a Zinger. Interestingly, I've never had this. I've You've never had, had a regular Zinger? I've only had barbecue Zinger. Before. Yeah, so OG Zinger, as you all know, it's the chicken here, you got the cheese, lettuce and tomato with some mayo. The Zinger is 29 ounces. So it's bigger than the rest, and the sandwich only is $585. So definitely get in the best bang for your buck here. Can't go wrong with a zinger. KFC, where do you put that chicken? I just that more on. Where do you put in that chicken? Insert sign here. Where do I put in that chicken? Hey? Eh? Yeah, can't go wrong with a zinger, people. I hate to say, I hope I don't sound ridiculous, but I think the Popeye sandwich actually tastes the best out of all of these. And I don't like pickles. So maybe it's not just the hype. Maybe it's really that good. In the bottle of the chicken sandwiches, I think I'd give it to Popeye's. Same, same, same. So I, I, I feel like the hype is real. Like it's a really good sandwich. And even if it is that you just add the cheese to it, I never taste the pickle at all. It kind of add a little flair to it. Test it out. I'd recommend. If you try the sandwich already, let us know if you think it's the better than the rest of these sandwiches. If you're gonna go out and try it, make sure you come back, tag us, just make us know what you think about it. This is another episode of Down Road. We have a lot more coming to you. Jerk Pan is coming, guys. We've been shooting cats out the back. Jerk Pan Season 2 is coming. Make sure you check out Cruise Control Mixtape. And we'll have another music project coming to you. If not December, January, just hold tight. Check out Dan and D TV. Like the video. Share it with your friend them. And if you rate it, subscribe. Is it? We're out of here. Till the next time. This is Down the Road.